Hey guys, uh, welcome back again to the channel. So today I have a quick tutorial for you guys on how you can mine uh, uh, Ethereum plus Tone coin uh, on Windows uh, today. I'm going to do uh, a video next about how to set up your uh, dual mining for Ethereum and Tone on HiveOS. So definitely stay tuned for that. But today, since it was a little bit easier for me, because obviously I work on my PC every day, I decided to do it first uh, on Windows. And here, as you can see, I am already mining Ethereum, as you see, and obviously Tone coin. But uh, now you see that the speed has uh, gone down because obviously I'm recording and I have opened a bunch of other stuff. But if we go up here, you will see that the speed that I'm getting with the settings that you see on the EVGA precision, they uh, are around. So here, for example, we are uh, 61.2 and uh, 1000 uh, megahash a second for Ethereum and uh, 1294 megahash a second uh, for um, uh, for Tonecoin uh, and uh, yeah the settings are 63 on the power uh, plus 1400 on the memory obviously the uh, the core clock uh, is uh, on automatic right now but when i'm not recording and doing anything on my pc it stays around 1200 megahertz so that's the speed uh, that uh, you want to leave your core clock uh, and not uh, and not consume too much power and as you see the power is around 150 watts uh, on the gpu compared to 130 watts uh, that i had before mining only ethereum now you have to know also that my gpu is an rtx 3070 without lhr so it uh, uh, it produces uh, around uh, 62 to 63 megahash a second alone when mining on Ethereum with 130 watts. And now it is producing uh, 61, 62 megahash a second while uh, obviously mining at the same time Tonecoin at uh, uh, 1,294, uh, 1,290 megahash a second on Tonecoin. Uh, so uh, it's not bad although we are consuming a little bit more but as we're going to do uh, the math later you will see that the profit is actually higher with dual mining uh, than without uh, dual mining it should be uh, the same uh, uh, for the LHR cards uh, obviously you are going to produce around the same amount of Ethereum uh, that you were producing uh, before just a, a couple of uh, mega hashes less and obviously you're going to produce the same amount um, uh, the same amount of ton or the same speed as my RTX 3070 obviously uh, but uh, it depends on the settings that you are going uh, to use now how you're going to use obviously we're going to use uh, a lol miner for this one because it seems that it is the most stable and the most um, uh, let's say uh, uh, tuned to work uh, with that I have uh, run mine uh, ran mine with these settings without any problems so basically the first thing we need to do is obviously go and grab lol miner to grab lol miner just go uh, on the Google and search for a lol miner and obviously grab the latest version of it you will find the official version uh, on uh, github so get uh, this one so basically you just go here we go we scroll down and we get the, the latest version which is right now at this moment 1.44 for windows so since we're doing this uh, on windows you download it make sure that your windows defender or your antivirus do not get this miner as a virus because obviously uh, that may happen so uh, make uh, that as an exclusion if that happens and uh, after you download it then then obviously you extract it and ever you extract it you are going to be presented with all these files again make sure that your antivirus or windows defender do not delete anything here otherwise it will not work now what i have done i have made a copy of this batch file here and i have named it uh, at plus ton so basically that's what you need to do then you go to edit right click edit and you put uh, and you put in this string in here that i put above now uh, do not pay attention to the nano uh, to the nano address here because i'm mining nano because uh, you can get nano without uh, any fees um, uh, so that's why i'm mining it but uh, usually you need to have here your ethereum address the name of the rig 
and obviously the other string for the dual pool and obviously uh, the ton address you can get the ton wallet um, uh, from the official ton page that I will put on the uh, on the video description you uh, I decided to use um, uh, my uh, Android uh, wallet for Ton, uh, Ton Keeper it is called, but you will find all the uh, official Ton wallets in the Ton uh, website, so uh, make sure to grab one of those wallets and you can grab the address for your Ton from uh, there. And uh, basically that's it. For the pool I have decided to use obviously the official uh, Wales Ton pool that is uh, again official on the uh, Ton page. So you know what, let me open the Ton page really quick. Okay, as you see, this is uh, the official ton page uh, here. And if you go to mining, you will see all the system that you can use for mining. You have the official pools here. It says 0% for now. So I have decided to choose ton whales. You just go to the link and you will find the, the, uh, uh, the way how you can do it. But as I told you, it's really easy. Basically, as you say, uh, as uh, I said, you grab a ton wallet with the official wallets here. So let's just uh, see the official wallets here. So basically show all platforms, all these uh, um, uh, platforms work and you can get a, a ton wallet after you create a ton wallet. As I told you, I use the ton keeper here for Android. It is this application in here. You install it on your app phone, you create your wallet, you grab your address and obviously you put it here into the batch file uh, where it is needed. Uh, just be careful not to mess around with the dots and with the spaces or uh, with the minuses because uh, you might uh, end up getting uh, errors but if you do you can uh, do it from scratch and make sure that you have right uh, wrote on it uh, correctly so grab your tone wallet then you sign up to the whales bot if you want to use uh, whales uh, whales pool obviously you just sign up uh, to the whales bot on telegram it's really easy you just put your wallet there and then you can check uh, your stats you can withdraw your coins uh, to uh, to your ton wallet and everything else uh, it is done it is uh, really easy to do and basically uh, that's uh, it after you put the string here obviously you save the file you close it so let me close it for you so you can see it make sure you have uh, everything uh, set up if uh, your pc crashes uh, make sure that you have set um, uh, the core clock to be at around 1200 megahertz because for me it crashes if i go under uh, 1200 megahertz so i stay right now between 1200 to 1300 with 63 percent power if you want to use a fixed core clock that's even better you can do it through the batch file you can find lots of tutorials out there but um, uh, for me as i told you it works fine with uh, evga precision so basically yeah you just open it and you should be greeted with this screen and if everything goes well and you begin mining you will start seeing everything on both pools uh, uh, for your ethereum mining and obviously for your ton mining okay now uh, the most important thing obviously about the profit we're going to compare how much you can profit and if you are really more profitable by using dual mining uh, instead of uh, single mining and obviously for the LHR cars cards uh, that is uh, for sure that you are going to earn more but even uh, for the non LHR cards like in my situation you're still going to earn a little bit more so now here you have the stats uh, uh, with my uh, single uh, or um, uh, solo mining uh, ethereum I get uh, around 63 mega hash a second with 130 uh, watts of power uh, pool fee will keep it uh, the same at 1% and as you see uh, the current daily profit with these prices and this difficulty is around 2.5 dollars a day for ethereum solo mining if we do the calculation with the uh, ton mining and ethereum mining in dual then uh, i get uh, 1290 around 1290 um, uh, mega hash a second or 1.29 giga hash a second for ton mining uh, we'll calculate at uh, 30 watts uh, additional power obviously above um, above the ethereum mining we'll keep the fee pool at one percent and as you see the current uh, the current daily uh, profit is uh, around 0.49 or around 0.5 uh, 0.5 
US dollars. Okay, and for the Ethereum, now I get in dual mining, I get 61.2 megahashes a second. We'll, we'll do 120 watts because obviously we added 30 watts for the uh, ton mining and the total is uh, around 150 watts as you see from the file here. And as you saw at the beginning, my card consumes 150 watts uh, of power now in dual mining. So I divided it uh, that way. It doesn't mean it's exactly that way, but uh, I just divided it uh, from uh, for uh, the two coins because that's the additional uh, uh, power increase uh, that I got. And with this speed, I uh, um, with the current uh, obviously difficulty and price, I get around. Uh, 2.4 US dollars. So if we add to the 2.4 US dollars, the 2.49 US dollars that we get with ton, now we are uh, at um, uh, at around uh, three dollars if we round it up. So basically, we are earning uh, more, although we are consuming a little bit more power, but we are also earning more. But more. Um, this is uh, currently not for uh, daily profit and obviously not even weekly profit or monthly profit but this is for the future because by getting ton coins uh, today you are not giving up much on the ethereum mining but you're also getting yourself the chance to earn way more in the future if obviously this is the big if if Tonecoin will shoot up uh, in the future. So that's why I decided to turn on dual mining, mostly for the LHR cards, because obviously I can get more profit out of them because obviously they are uh, tuned down for Ethereum. So now I can do something extra, but obviously even for the non LHR cards, you can still earn more. Uh, at least for now, uh, you can still earn more daily. It is around 20% more. So let's call it 10 to 15 percent more. So why don't uh, uh, why don't we get that since uh, we can get it? And then with the coins, you can decide what to do. You can sell them. You can keep them for the long term and hope that uh, it will shoot up. And uh, yeah, and this way, I think we'll have more chances uh, on uh, on our hands again, especially for the LHR cards since they are tuned down for Ethereum. Now we have the chance to uh, almost not uh, obviously 100% but almost fully unlock them uh, by using the dual mining. Okay then, that was it for today. Thank you very much for watching. You will have the string and all the links in the video description. If you have any questions, definitely uh, let me know. As I told you for the settings, it depends what settings you want to use. You can uh, definitely produce more. You can go with the 3070 up to 1500 mega hash a second with the uh, tongue coin and you can go the same speed on Ethereum if you want to spend more um, wattage, obviously you can decide what to do but anyway uh, with these current settings so you can produce more with dual mining so i would suggest you give it a try then for the tuning obviously everyone uh, has its own and uh, it might differ for uh, from my uh, my settings and my uh, actual um, earnings that i'm getting right now okay then that's going to be it thank you again uh, for watching don't forget to subscribe again uh, also like share and all that good stuff and as you and as usual i will catch you guys on the next one bye bye